Riser of the month. Here you are, the first one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's let's start let's start with well let me let me let me just, just if you guys aren't familiar with the riser of the month let me introduce what that is. So I had this idea. So I I I am so privileged to be able to coach agents like Kelly and agents that are in the Agent Rise group and. I get to witness breakthrough day after day after day, and it is so empowering for me to see it. I get teary-eyed about it all the time because I fight and I battle with them, and, and then I get to see them go to the next level. I get to see them break through, and I'm like, how can I, like, how can I display this and like get others to see what I get to see? Cause I kind of felt selfish. Like I get to see all this and nobody else does. So then I thought of the agent rise, the, the riser of the month award. And I thought, Hey, this would be a great way. Every month I get to display uh, the, the, and honor somebody that is doing some amazing things in their business and they're breaking through. And I'm, and I was like, as I was thinking it through and I'm like, People like Kelly. People need to know about Kelly. And like you were seriously on my heart, on my mind when I was coming up with this award and like thinking of how I would how I would do all of this. And um, and so you have to be the first one. And and when I asked you, you're like, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm in, I'm in for sure. So um, so the first riser of the month, Kelly. How are you doing? I'm awesome. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. And I just, I still can't wrap my head around it because I'm like, little old me, but um, <laughs> it, it's just, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing the things that you're teaching and it's, and it's just a testament to how successful it is. So I'm thrilled. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back to when things weren't working. What did your business look like? It was a mess. Like, I was taking every single class, listening to every single podcast, and I just, I, you know, you have this feeling and weight on your shoulders, like, I'm supposed to be doing all of these things that they're te that people are teaching you how to do, and I think you touched on it on, on a podcast that you had before, like, you, you just, you feel like, and nobody's telling you that, hey, you don't have to do all of these things, so I'm sitting here chasing around, chasing my tail, like, doing an open house this week, I'm doing a class next week, I'm doing this, and I'm like, nothing's working, <laughs> so I think it was just, I guess you could say, just a big old mess. <laughs> right, and you have a background in transaction management, and, and like, in, like, organization right like I love you I'm lucky in your background there you probably got a really color pretty pretty oh, yeah. calendar. Is that's, that my, that's my business plan I've got my three pillars right here and my monthly uh goals that I'm focusing on so I just I have that all around me I've got the agent rise steps up here I've got my day my like I, my, my, I'm surrounded by my vision <laughs> Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> and so you were one that I think you even thought you had a vision, right? Mm -hmm. Like you felt like you did, but you did it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so speak to that a little bit. It's funny because I was, uh, I, because I, I, I had listened to your podcast for forever and I felt like I was doing it. Like I, I was doing all these things and um, I, you know, and so when I, when I reached out to you, it was about like this one specific idea that I had that I wanted to kind of like expand on. Um, I can't even remember what that idea is now at this point because <laughs> it was just a shiny object that was distracting me. And I feel like, um, yeah, it just, uh, it just came together from there and um i lost my train of thought but sorry <laughs> no worries no worries so we just we just had we thought we had a vision right because you hear me yeah. i can't say that you know we got to work according to a vision not work according to your needs um and and like but taking that vision to a whole nother level now right mm -hmm. like like working you know you've got your three pillars in place and, and truthfully, you got two pillars in place, right? Because mm -hmm. the attraction becomes a distraction. Yeah. Um, and we're going to start working on your attraction pillar. But um, getting so focused on just your sphere of influence and your chase. Um, and then, and I love what you said too once that your coworkers um, are like, how can you seriously just do that? Like that really simplifying it that much, is that a good thing? Um, talk about that. 
I fight, I struggle with that every day because I feel like, you know, when you're chasing your tail and you're doing all the things that you think you're supposed to be doing and they're not working, that's busy work. It makes you feel so super busy and that feeling of like, I'm doing all the things and it's not coming together. But so when you like t take a step back and look at the bigger picture and you're like, okay, I need to, what you say, simplify and amplify. Yeah. And feels like you're not doing everything you're supposed to be doing so you have to like daily check in with yourself and be like okay that's why I have my vision all around me is because I know that I'm doing the things I'm supposed to do but you get that feeling inside of like oh am I doing enough like and and the answer is yes you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing but it's just a constant battle with yourself of like having to just reset yourself and just be like look it really is this easy, but you have to trust yourself and you have to be patient and, and realize that you're building a business here. You're not scrambling for contracts and, and the two are very different. And I think we're so ingrained to want to have to like chase contracts here and there instead of building a foundation for your business and growing on that foundation and realizing that you're doing the right thing, but it just doesn't seem as frantic as it feels like it should, because that's the difference is you're, you're sitting here building on something. You're not frantically like running around trying to do everything. And it's a, it's a difference. It's a mindset. And, you know, you have to really kind of t tune into that. Yeah. So your chase pillar is open houses mm -hmm. and, and let's talk about what your open houses used to look like to what mm -hmm. they look like to today. You know, I think, um, and a lot of times people are like, how can, how can you be successful with just open houses? And, um, the thing is, is, and, and I think the way that we talked about it and worded it is like, what's working for you. And I think it's really taking a look at it and saying, okay, what does it mean when you say it's working? Because open houses are working great for me. Does that mean that I'm getting five search criteria for matchmaker every single time? No. In fact, this month, I really haven't gotten a lot. I've done three, well, July, it's August already, but I did four open houses last month and um, I consider them a success. Why? Because not because I got tons and tons of leads, but because I set up a system, I worked my system, I did the things that I was supposed to do on a daily basis. I showed up to my open houses prepared, knowledgeable about the neighborhood, and with that comes confidence. And so it's all about building your confidence while you're there at your open house, and that's successful. That's the things that you can control. You can't control who comes to your open house and who passes, um, and I think the key is making a successful open house, whether it's one person or 35 people, and that's a success. Yes. Yes. And just, and you've got your routine, right? You've got it down, you're dialed in, you know what to do. Uh, you're, and, and, and we know that there's seasons of success in open house, right? Like we're just about to go into a dream phase season where the buyers are going to come and they don't have agents. Right. Mm -hmm. And we were, we just got into the worst part, the worst part of the year where everybody has an agent. Right. And so you, but you just keep battling through all of that one one after another um how does it how does it been working with your sphere of influence so your chase is open house um you've got that dialed in what does your sphere of influence look like yeah i'm kind of resetting because um i july was my first month i've gone through a little bit of a transition in my business so i kind of went back and went through the steps again it was definitely more accelerated this time because i knew what i was doing and i was like oh do this this and this so um whereas before um my database pillar was um events and newsletter um now i'm kind of like taking a step back and be like okay we're just gonna form the relationships right now um make those phone calls send out that announcement letter again just kind of retool and then ramp back up to um newsletter and um yeah so um and it i'm focusing a lot on relationships and so um sending out that 36 touch email and those kind of impersonal things are not really my focus right now what i'm trying to focus on is 
you know, making that phone call and um, seeing if that person who has a dog that they're trying to get rid of, see if I know of anybody that can help with that. So it's more going back to that kind of old school interpersonal relationship type thing rather than just setting up a system of like mass emailing a time change or something like that, you know? Well, this is a great little segue here because Kelly, why are you going through a reset? What, what, yeah, so <laughs> when, I, when we first started coaching back in November, um, I was on a team. And so um, it was a big decision to hire, you know, an outside coach for my firm because it was an expense. And my husband and I talked about it a long time and we decided to go for it anyway. Um, and it was, it was the best decision that I could have made because, um, you know, my hang up was on a team, 50% commissions, but I built up the tools that I needed. And so now, you know, as our team kind of went through some changes and decided to go out as a solo agent, I had the business and foundation that I needed in order to go out on my own. And, um, I'm not, I was as nervous as, um, you know, kind of getting out there on my own as I would have been maybe even a year or six months ago. So, um, yeah, that, that was kind of, uh, my going out on my own That's boss awesome. lady style, you know, just. <laughs> yes. And, and guys, this is one of the reasons why Kelly's the riser of the month. Like it is hard to, um, the, the the team it's hard to step above that and, and it's easy to just be complacent with that and it's easy to just you know just be one of the other teammates and and Kelly like took charge eight months ago and you had when we started coaching you had absolutely no desire to leave the team right like that you were happy there you had been off of a team before and on your own like you found your place you were good and I'm like all right this is great let's just maximize what where you're at let's take what the the let's play to your strengths right and one of your strengths was leads from your team and 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 the the leadership on your team and all that and so let's play to those strengths and we we did it and then then it, I, I, I think what happened is your confidence continued to, to rise. And, um, and, then, and then not only are you breaking off of a team and going solo, but your heart and your, your vision, what we're working on now, is team building. Yeah. Right. So, so we're not just going to go on our own. We're going to go build our own team. And, uh, again, that's why you're the riser of the month because you just you, – you've seen – um, you, you've grown with where you're at. You've taken, uh, you've, you've done amazing things with where you're at and now you're ready to go and you're ready to live a life by design too. Right. And so, um, so what is, what does the future look like for Kelly? Yeah. So right now, um, we talk about me and my husband are looking forward to kind of hitting the road in a couple of years with an RV. So when we talked about team building, it's like, well, why would I build something just to dismantle it in, in about a year and a half? Um, but what we're talking about now is building this team in a way so that, you know, people can move in and out of the leadership position and live a you know, have work life quality balance so that when, you know, we decide to hit the road and take a year off to do an RV, we can seamlessly move in and out of that with, with team members who are building their own business and um, starting off new and cool things for themselves. Like I see it as, you know, people like me who want to, um, you know, like you say, have their own identity and build um, something for themselves, but also who love, like I'm, I'm co like uh, collaboration is my thing. I love collaborating with other people. I love working on a team. I love, I just feed off of the energy. And so the team um, just makes the most sense for me, but also I crave leadership and I love teaching and, and, and leading. And so it's just kind of like a perfect storm of what we're creating and what you're helping me like move forward with. It just like lines up with the life that I want to live moving forward. Um, and it's not, you know, it, it, it perfectly goes together career and life as opposed to just like building up this real estate 
team that I have to constantly like, you can never take vacations or, you know, I don't want to be that person that's on a, a ma magical vacation. And I'm like constantly glued to my phone, worried about my business, like falling apart. And so it's really important what we're doing from the ground, like right now in building this, um, thinking about that future and, and thinking about like how I want to live my life moving forward. Um, as opposed to how you think you're supposed to do it. Right, right, right. And this is truly working according to a vision, right? I mean, this is like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a vision. It's, it's a reach. Like we've got a lot to do to get there, but I'm, but uh, it, it, it's fun, right? Like it, it's exciting and, and you get to build something that you want to work towards. And it's a little bit scary too, which is, which yeah. is fun also because I look forward to that, you know, part of my uh, January goal is to launch um, this thing. And I'm, I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, can I do all this? And, you know, just, you got to trust, trust the vision. It doesn't seem like it might come together, but it is going to come together. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, that's so good. So, um, uh, uh, so, so, it, and if anybody has any questions, if, if you're listening to this and you uh, want to ask a question, want to know a little bit more about what Kelly's doing, uh, by all means, just post your questions in the comment and, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm monitoring that the best I can. I've only got one Facebook page open in front of me. So if you post on the one that I'm not on, then I'm going to miss it, but we'll, we'll, we'll always, we can answer questions later too. Um, so, uh, so, so what is it, what is it meant? Um, you know, you've done a great job of working according to a vision, um, and not working according to your needs and our casting vision for the future. Uh, what would you say to somebody that is kind of stuck in that right now where they're working according to their needs, they don't have a clear vision. Um, what would you say to somebody like that? Um, it seems, it seems like a lot. It seems like, um, a really big thing to like set up your whole system and your business. You, you look at that whole thing and you're like, Oh my gosh, how am I going to do it? My, my, just start with one thing, just, just start small and get that hone, hone that in. But, um, you know, having, um, a clear, like I'm, I write things down. So I constantly like, Oh, I, you know, my day blocking chain, like, I want to add that to my day blocking, write it down, you know? So, so writing things down and then changing, um, changing your habits and what you do, like just a small thing at a time. So if it, if you're feeling like, um, you know, your leads are, your, your leads are a mess. Like, I don't know where my leads are coming. Just, you know, start, start there. Just pick one thing, um, systematize that, simplify and amplify to take it, to take from your, uh, from your great expression and, and, and go there. And then, you know, it, it all kind of falls into place after that. Like once you start with one thing, then you're going to move on to your next thing and be like, Oh, this is what, what you need to do. And, and, and luckily you kind of laid that out in a very easy step-by-step -step plan on the agent rise steps. And um, I, to me, that's the best place to start just because I love a simplified step-by-step -step list and starting out in real, real estate, I feel like that's the one thing that you don't have. Like nobody has that saying that here, these are the, this is the order that you do things in and this. So, you know, following that kind of guideline has really helped me. And, and like I said, during this transition, I went back to step one and just redid and like made sure that my, my everything in that list was um you know kind of zeroed in and 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 tightened up yes yes so you we've done one-on-one -on -one coaching for for eight months and one of the things that i often say is that information alone is not going to get you the results that you're looking for can you speak to the power of coaching like what 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 is it like what has it done for your business uh can you speak to that? Here's the thing. You can tell me something one time and I, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's, that's genius. I, I need to do that. And then this, the next person that comes along and says another thing is like, you're like, oh, that's genius. And you forget. Like, so, and again, I think I said earlier about how you're constantly just like, 
reining me in and just like, ah, that's a distraction. So having that person walk alongside you really and just remind you of the things that you've already tried to discover for yourself or remind you of your vision. So, um, you know, there are several times where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have this idea. I want to do it. And, you know, we, we talk about it and we flesh it out a little bit. And then we both kind of come to the conclusion of like, ah, that's kind of a distraction right now. Let's kind of table this and move back to what our core is. And so <laughs> it's really about just having that person just remind you of what you need to be doing and because um you know it, it can get out of hand <laughs> yes 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 how has it gone and you you i've learned things from you uh, when we coach and i've said that before too because you're very uh in tune and 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 very well uh, you're just you're very knowledgeable but it, when it comes to mindset um, you know, kind of, uh, on the down days and picking yourself back up. Uh, what has that been like? It's, um, you know, mindset is the hardest thing to overcome because it's tied to your emotions. And when you're just feeling down and negative, it's hard to kind of, you know, you can sit and tell yourself like, Hey, listen, but it, it's kind of hard to pick yourself up out of that and, and get back on. And, I, I'm naturally a, a positive, optimistic person. So on a, on a normal basis, you're going to find me in a really good mood, ready to like take on the day. But there are times when I'm just like, I'm not feeling it today. And I, I'm just going to like, just blow my whole day on Netflix. But um, I think, you know, it, it goes to like what you say a lot, uh, motivation fades. And so having those systems in place, um, like, you know, I've taken your day blocking and just kind of on steroids, like every single thing has a day. So I know on Thursdays, if I'm not feeling it or if I'm busy or if just the world is going to hell, I know that no matter what, Thursday, I've got to go shove some open, side house, open house signs in the ground before my end of day you know, shutdown routine. And, um, you know, so having those systems in place um, is really important because like you say, mo motivation and mindset kind of fades. And so you've got to have something to fall back on when you're not feeling it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. And, you know, like just, you know, I, we just got a, a little bit of time left here. I want to keep this to right around 30 minutes. So we got a, we got a few minutes left. If anybody's got any questions, let me know. Uh, just put them in the comment section and we'll answer them. Um, what, what, is, um, what has been the, the greatest influence in your business? Like to where you're at today, like what, what has led you there? Um, well, I, I'm going to say you, <laughs> because, <laughs> because, um, well, and, and, and that's just because I feel like you and I have the same, like, uh, motive, we, I, I don't know, I just, I, I say it all the time, I feel like you and I are the same person, like, we have the same interests, we go to, we, we have, you know, a lot of times you're like, oh, this guy, and I'm like, oh yeah, I love that guy, you know, motivation-wise, so I feel like we, we think the same, and I think it's important um, when you are looking for your coach, it, you know, you have to find somebody that, um, you know, does things the way that you, you do or thinks the way that you do or, or is the person you want to be when you grow up. You know, you have to find that right fit. Um, and so I think that is probably the, the best thing um, in my business is finding that person who compliments me and keeps me on the right path and inspires me to to have dreams that scare me so um you know if it's all about just finding that right person yeah so a couple other rapid fire ones for you here too what would you say to somebody that's completely stuck in their business yeah uh man it's a it, get a coach <laughs> I feel like I feel so bad about hounding on this same subject but yeah a coach is really the the person that's going to kind of pull you out of that they they help they help you keep they help you with your mindset and your mentality 
they, uh, you know, you, you can sit here and listen to five different people and they do it five different ways. You have to have a guide, um, like a spirit guide to help, help you through to, to find your way. And that's the difference between getting a coach and just going and finding your own education on your own. Um, you know, you've got to have somebody that be like, no, that's my way. You do this your way. And so that's what the best kind of coach will do for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and, and then it, I think it also goes for somebody that's new too, right? Like if you go back to your beginning, um, how much further along would you have been if we did coaching right away versus where you're at now? Like, I think you, you see that it, it would move faster as well. Um, and, and what, what's, um, you know, like, like, you're, you like, we, we've simplified so much, right? And we, and we've removed so much clutter um, and you're super organized. And that was the other question I wanted to ask. It just came to my mind. I'm like, what was I, what was I thinking? Um, you, you have done a great job of delegating, right? And, and remember there was, I, I think I remember it was last, I remember it was snowing out when I was talking to you. So it was probably Christmas where you just felt super bogged down, right? Like you got a rush of business, you were running all over the place. Um, what did you do to kind of, to delegate and to, to get things off your plate so that you could keep doing the level of business you're doing? Well, um, it took you, it, it took you a couple of times to get me to realize that I needed to get a transaction coordinator. And that's something that should have happened like right away. But because I came from that background and I was used to processing 40 transactions at one, any one given time, I'm like, you know what? I've got this in the bag. I love doing it. I love the organization. And it was my favorite. It was part of my favorite thing. Um, and then it took you reminding me like, Hey, that's not your job. Your job is out there boots on the ground, helping people, and you know you need it so um it, it hurt but I gave that up and and that was like the biggest thing of like I was just like whoa because also if when I'm juggling that along with all the other things I should be doing I'm doing a very poor job at everything and so no matter how good I am at doing transaction coordinators coordination if I'm doing that along with something else I'm failing I'm failing these people that I'm trying to help by trying to do it all so um, delegating that out to a person that does um, an amazing job at it, um, it you know there it's really boosting my business and and they're doing a better job at it than I could do um, just because that's what they do and so that and then leveraging out um, utilizing the showing angel program that we have here in our brokerage um, that was another thing that you that we talked about leveraging and delegating and um, you know and, and that all goes part of like building a business you know you run into these agents who are just crazy busy all the time and you're like can you handle this and but delegating is the way of telling of, of, of like looking like you have it all put together like yeah i've got this i've got this in the bag <laughs> yes yes it was i was talking with another agent the other day and she felt like she was handing her clients off and that would be doing a disservice. And I said, you're not handing them off. You're hiring a client care coordinator. So instead of calling it a transaction coordinator, maybe it's best to call it a client care coordinator. It seems more warm and fuzzy and, and, and better to yeah. help. And if you prep that at the beginning, if you prep that at the beginning and say, hey, here's me, this is what I do, here's my client uh, coordinator or whatever, this is what they do, here's the, and you, and you educate them that it's not really handing them off, you're just building a team of people that are going to service them amazingly. Yeah, yeah. And so guys, I just want to make sure you get this, right? So Kelly is, is, is working to live a life by design, business by design. She wants to travel the country in an RV with her husband. She wants to build a team that runs without her. She wants to, I mean, she, she's going to still be involved in the team when she's on the road, but she, she's, she wants to get to this level of delegating where her clients receive the absolute best service. And she's working according to a vision instead of working according to her needs. And I'm telling you, 
that if I, I just want you to see this and I want you to watch this unfold and I'm going to do another interview with Kelly in six months from now or maybe wherever, wherever we're at, right? Like, because guys, I'm telling you that it's, it's so fun and it's so inspiring to live and work according to a vision. And I, it's just one of those things that I just wish every agent would do. I talk about it all the time, um, but, but Kelly is, is, is real and, and it's truly happening. And, and, you know, going from being on a team to now being uh, on her own to now building a team. And uh, it's just, and then, and then she's going to go hit the road and I can't wait for this to all happen. So it's so cool. So congratulations, Kelly, on being the riser of the month. You are Thank amazing. You. This is awesome. So guys, and if you have any questions uh, for me, for Kelly, just post them in the comments. If you want to connect with Kelly, uh, she's in the agent rise group. Um, and she's a true giver loves to help people. So if there's anything that you uh, need, I'm sure she'll, she'll talk to you. So yeah, right? absolutely. I, I'd hate to throw you out there like that. Yeah, I'll give you your no, email well, address. If and <laughs> also, if you're in the area, call me up. We'll have lunch. I've already uh, had, had a lunch with the riser that I met through, and she's yeah. amazing. Lisa, shout out. <laughs> that was so cool. Yes, you yeah. and Lisa connected. I love hearing that. And also, you're road tripping it to Madison for the Agent Rise Summit. So yes. Anyone who wants a road trip with Kelly? Yeah, I'm going to actually be driving just because if, if somebody can't, like, fly or, or can't afford a plane ticket, hit me up. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll road trip it together. Oh, it's a beautiful drive, too. That time of year, too, it'll be gorgeous. I'm excited. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate you. And uh, thank you all. Is there any last words, Kelly, you want to say before the, the music plays? Uh, you know, just life is good and... Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you rock, you rock. Awesome. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day. And like always, remember to be the reason somebody smiles today.